All right, so a little bit of a backdrop into what made me decide to make this video was that towards the end of January this year and early February, actually it was not even that much, it was like within a week, like three, four days, I experienced a rise, like a spike in negativity in the comment section. Like if I got 50 comments, 80% of those comments were negative telling me Sigma males don't exist, what type of world do you live in? Do you see the real world? This alpha beta, this hierarchy thing is a bunch of bullshit. All that. And um, I was wondering, where the hell did this negative, this sudden rise in negativity come from? And for those of you single male content creators out there, if you're on YouTube, podcast, and you received a similar spike in negativity around that time period, uh, late January to early February, I'm going to tell you exactly where those guys came from. They came from, they were spawned from this tweet, which I'm going to post right now. Someone brought up this idea that th this tweet taking screenshots of different um, Sigma male content, like Sigma male book, Sigma male web articles saying that, oh, there's this rise in the fantasy, another Sigma male, another um, archetype, whatever. I forgot exactly what it was. And it went viral. And a lot of people got on this bandwagon like sheep going towards um, this ridiculous that hierarchy does not exist, la da dee da da da. Now when you notice, most of these um, arguments against the hierarchy or against this alpha male, beta male, sigma male, whatever, most of these are drawn from a scientific or a lo seemingly logical argument that um, our terms or our concepts of the alpha, whatever, were founded upon this study of the wolf pack done by Schenkel and Mech, which has been apparently, of course, debunked a long time ago. That study of the there being an alpha wolf and there being a, a pecking order or a hierarchy in the wolf pack has been debunked. I'm aware of that. Now, some content creators just go as far as saying that, oh, sigma males, alpha males, they exist on Google, therefore they exist. I don't attack issues as superficially as that. When people attack me with a certain argument, I'm going to use that argument, get to the root of it and flip it against them to really see how logical this argument really is. And so, yeah, if you say that alpha wolves and this whole theory of the dominance hierarchy, this dominance theory that Schenkel and Mech disproved a long time ago does not exist. Therefore, we don't exist in humans. That's not true because the reason why these researchers Schenkel and Mech disproved their original studies was because those studies originally were done on unrelated wolves in captivity. When they studied those unrelated wolves in captivity, they did try to establish their own dominance hierarchy. And that is a contrast to the wild wolves, where the wild wolves, the alphas were just the parents and the betas were just the children. However, when you look at human society, what are we? Are we wild or are we captive? Now you answer that question. Especially in this time, it's much more easy to test it out at this time. Go to the supermarket without your mask on and see if you're going to be allowed to roam freely or to do as you wish freely. And this vaccine is starting, starting to come out into the public and being distributed worldwide. They tell you that if you're not vaccinated, you cannot have access to products. You probably will not work. You probably will not be able to study. You will not be granted the luxuries of society. Isn't that captivity? You call that freedom. Unrelated wolves in captivity establish their dominance hierarchy. Schools, career, job, your workplace, society as a whole, this place where we intermingle. Are we related or are we unrelated? We're unrelated. Therefore, we do establish the dominance hierarchy. If everyone is on a la di da it's a small world after all, where everyone is equal, why do people get promotions? Why do people fight for, for positions? This is why in an earlier video, I said that Sigma males are eternal. Alpha males and beta males are a temporary position because an alpha male now, when you take that alpha male, put him in a different context or you put him in a different environment, that alpha male may suck. And because of his lack of value, or his lack of um, abilities in that context, he then is not taken or he's not seen anymore as a leader or he's not seen as valuable. Therefore, he's relegated to the position of beta. 
So alphas and betas, they really do exist when you look at society. So yeah, like wolves in the wild, they're a family unit. The alpha is the father, alpha female is the mother, the betas are the children, just like at home. You're not gonna try to go against your father because if you go against your father, guess what happens? You're gonna get kicked out, much like the lone wolf. Wolves in a pack, when the wolves, the baby wolves, they grew up, they are then kind of kicked out or they just go out on their own into the wild and to establish their own packs, What which is what humans do. When you get older, you're not gonna overpower your dad to take control of that house. No, you're gonna separate from your family to establish your own family, to establish your own pack. That is the pack of related wolves. So that is true. But like when you look at school, when you look at the workplace, when you look at cliques, like fr group of, uh, groups of friends, it's very easy to tell who's the leader. It's very easy to tell who's the follower. There is no like, there is no equal footing here. There is someone who is the clear leader in that group. And all these archetypes, these alpha, sigma, all of these things, maybe they are, these concepts are relatively new. The terms, the labels are relatively new. But as I said in many of my previous videos, the concept or this embodiment, this personality, this character that they attribute to is as old as time. So yeah, that's basically my argument against that argument. And to really end things off with a bang, um, what is a Sigma male? A Sigma male is a guy who doesn't really give a shit about the hierarchy. Therefore, if people say that this hierarchy, this alpha male, beta male does not exist, a Sigma male still does not care. Because if that hierarchy does not exist, it's still along the lines of what a Sigma male kind of has in his mentality. Whether there is a hierarchy or whether there is no hierarchy, a Sigma male does what he's going to do either way. Also, as I said in many of my videos, Sigma for me stands for signature man. He is a man who is not defined by what other people tell him he should be. He is not defined by society's narrative. He is not defined by anything but himself. Because we are all unique. We all have our different strengths and our different weaknesses. And if you try to mold yourself to an idea of what someone told you you should be, you are basically doing yourself a disservice. Because the universe, God, whatever you believe, made you you. Because they, God, the universe believed that you had the potential to make something in this world just by being you. There's only one of you in the universe with your own unique mix and combination of strengths, talents, interests, mindsets, mentality, personality, temperaments. Only one of you with that unique combination of skills and even your face and your body type and everything. So make yourself as badass as, pro as possible. Don't be a copy of someone else. You can get inspired by someone else, but don't copy. Now, overall, even if they try to argue against what I just argued, good luck to them about this hierarchy not existing in society. Either way, even if they disprove what I just proved, you cannot disprove or you cannot doubt that there is such a thing as a signature man or a man who follows the beat of his own heart, who wants to really maximize himself in as unique a way as possible. So yeah, in the beginning, I was actually hesitating to make this video because I was wondering why, if there's an actual purpose to make this video, because for me, it is plain to see, you don't have to venture too far out in society, that dominance does exist among people. If not, why is there promotion? Why are there ranks? Why are there all of this? Remember, you don't observe something, like you don't observe wolves and then bring about a hypothesis or a theory from nothing. You establish a theory because you have that at the back of your head. Where does the, the, the concept at the back of the head come out from? From your own experience. Therefore, Schenkel and Mech probably experienced their... They were experiencing a hierarchy from their workplace. And they transferred that. They transferred that into their own view or their own bias of that study. So that's the end of this video, my friends. Do like if this resonated with you. Comment your thoughts down below. And subscribe if you haven't already to the channel. This is the channel for the Signature Men the Sigma males, those men who really want to march to the beat of their own drum and don't really want to give a shit about society. We're here growing every single day to reach our own potential 
being the most badass version of ourselves that we can possibly do before we are buried six feet under. So I'm going to end there. This is Kaiju Kong signing off. Thank you very much for joining me, my friends. Till next time, stay strong and take care.